Hi, Paul here from Trek It with Harry as usual, and we are on the edge of the uh, rather beautiful Langattic Escarpment underneath uh, Craigie Killow here. It's absolutely stunning. We have the uh, a whole panorama of the Black Mountains behind us the Usk Valley, Sugarloaf, Table Mountain, Pencurry Cauch, Minas Troid. It's absolutely stunning. What a cracking place to come and do these videos. So, which video is this? Well, this is the video for the new RAB Microlite vest. What's new? Well, you have to wait and find out, but I can tell you that it has now got enhanced environmental credentials, making it a much more environmentally friendly and sustainable product. We're going to talk about what it's made from. We're going to talk about what it's good for, where to use it, all of the information you're going to need. So make sure you stay tuned right to the end of the video to get all the information about this hugely versatile, but sometimes massively underrated product. We're big fans here. So yeah, stay tuned, enjoy the video, and uh, we'll get started on the details. Okay, so before I start prattling on about all the techie stuff, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you hit the little bell icon, you'll get notifications as soon as we post any new videos. Okay, so what is it? Well, rather obviously, it's, uh, it's a vest or a gilet. Uh, I don't mind what you call it. I call it a vest, call it a gilet. I might refer to it as both through the whole video. I just might forget. But anyway, it's a vest or it's a gilet. It's a sleeveless tank top. Blimey, that's a throwback, isn't it? I'm going to stick with gilet, I think. Uh, it's insulated uh, with a, a natural down product. And it's a great little thing. Really versatile and, like I said, massively underrated. Gilets are uh, a really valuable piece of layering and a really helpful piece of insulation for just about all mountain activities, everyday use. Uh, it just adds that extra bit of core warmth without bulk. So like I said, brilliant for layering. So what is this brilliant little and versatile gilet made from? So let's start with the insulation. In here, you have got 118 grams of 700 fill power, 100% recycled natural down. RAB, along with their other suppliers, uh, collect, wash, sterilize, and then reuse high quality down from, uh, you know, um, duvets, pillows, old down jackets, you name it. They collect the best down, I say give it a wash, give it a sterilize, and then reuse it. And it's a really ethical and sustainable way of using down. Uh, obviously, it doesn't involve uh, further uh, use of live birds. So, yeah, really sustainable, really ethical. Nice one, Rab. Well done. Big fans. The down itself is then encapsulated or trapped within mini and nano baffles to make sure that it uh, can loft up to its 700 fill power. So 700 fill power, for those of you who aren't familiar, fill power, just uh, that number, 700, describes the amount of space that one ounce of down will fill up. So 700 in this case means 700 cubic inches of down or about 16 litres. So uh, as the down expands and fills up that airspace, it's trapping the uh, warm air that you're creating and that gives you that thermal efficiency. So these are trapped inside these little baffles. So you've got mini baffles down the chest and the back. And then you've got the little nano baffles down the side here. And that just helps to uh, reduce the overall weight by using these different size baffles. You don't need a huge amount of bulk of down down the side of the jacket. And it just helps to give it a, a really neat fit and a nice feeling to it. So the down itself is protected from the elements and from abrasion with a 30 denier Pertex Quantum fabric. Pertex, you know, as we all know, been around forever, been making some of the best fabrics in the outdoor industry. So it's a super reliable, tough fabric that is abrasion resistant yet lightweight and breathable and weather resistant enough to cope with outdoor use. The fabric itself is given a light DWR, so that's a durable water repellency. It's a, it's a, it's a chemical applied by RAB in the manufacturing process and that will diminish over time but you can top it back up with Nikwax or Granger's products. Talking of Nikwax, each and every down cluster within this gilet is treated with Nikwax hydrophobic treatment, which means that the down will absorb less moisture, 
will dry quicker if it gets wet and will help it to stay loft and working in damp conditions. As we all know, down is pretty useless if it gets wet. It just compresses and you have to get it dry again to get it working, to get it to loft. Uh, but this hydrophobic treatment really helps, like I said, to absorb less moisture, to keep performing well in damp conditions. But despite the best efforts of uh, Mr. Nickwax and Mr. Rab and Mr. DWR, the gilet isn't waterproof. Now, obviously it's not waterproof. It hasn't got any sleeves or a hood, but the fabric and the down isn't waterproof. So please don't expect great things from this in tipping down rain. Inside the gilet is a lightweight 20D nylon, uh, nice and light, comfortable uh, next to the skin if you've just got a t-shirt on or something like that. Uh, nice and breathable, helps with the breathable of the fabric and also, again, 100% recycled. So you've got a recycled outer fabric, a recycled inner fabric and recycled insulation. So bags of recycling going on. Nice one, Rab. <laughs> we just said to Harry, right, let's do the features. And Harry went, there aren't many. <laughs> it won't take long. And he's right, there aren't many. It's a gilet. You know, it's, it's a minimal piece of kit. Uh, you do get a really nice uh, stand-up insulated collar, so when you've got this thing zipped right up, it's nice and snug, like a little warm scarf around your neck. You get a couple of zipped hand warmer pockets, nice and big, right up to there, right down to the hem, and in the left-hand pocket you will find the stuff sack, so the gilet will fit into this. It'll pack up teeny tiny, keep it in your pack. There's also a chest pocket up on here. The armholes are lined with uh, a little bit of neat stitching around here just to keep that nice and snug and neat. There's no elastication as such, but it's just a nice, neat, close fit around the arm just to seal that warmth in, but without being restrictive. And then right down at the bottom, you've got a simple dual pull elasticated draw cord just again to seal the warmth in, stop the cold drafts scooting up your back. So. Yep, yeah, nice and neat and simple. All the features you need, nothing you don't. How does it fit? Well, it fits me beautifully. It's a really nice, neat fitting gilet, not big and baggy at all, uh, nice and close fitting. If you're familiar with our videos, you will know by now that I am six foot three. I've got a 42 inch chest. I've got a 34 inch waist and I weigh about 13 and a half stone and this is a size large. And it's a really nice fit. Like I said, it's neat, it's tidy. I've just got a couple of light layers underneath. I've got a, a lightweight base layer T. I've got a Rab AL Pull uh, fleece on here. Uh, and that's pretty much what I would wear. Um, the gilet is keeping my core body warm. My arms are a little bit cool, but that's fine. That's not a problem. I'm not getting cold because the gilet is keeping me nice and warm on the body. It's the kind of thing that easily fits under a waterproof jacket, so it's not big and bulky. Um, yeah, it's just a really nice, easy fit, glides nice and uh, easily over different layers. Where's the fit in the layering system? Well, it, really, it depends on your layering system, I suppose. And as we all know, layering isn't a precise science, uh, so I can't tell you exactly what's gonna work best for you because your metabolism, metabolism is probably different to mine. You might be using this gilet in a different environment to me. You may feel the heat, you may feel the cold, I don't know. But for me, the gilet works at its best as a lightweight insulating mid-layer because it provides real essential core body warmth without the bulk of a hood and sleeves. So underneath a jacket is where I prefer to wear my gilet the most as that lightweight insulating piece whilst allowing my arms free if I'm climbing or scrambling just reduces the bulk and the overall weight. Of course you can just slip it over a pulley and wear it down the pub if you want that's absolutely fine just give you that extra bit of warmth uh, but for me the, the, the core use of the gilet is as that super lightweight, minimal bulk insulating layer underneath the shell. Right, we made it. Thanks very much for sticking with us right to the end. So to summarize the new Rab Microlite vest, that's what they call it, I call it a gilet. You can call it what you want, but Rab call it a Microlite vest. It's this super lightweight, minimal bulk insulating layer 
with made with recycled fabrics and recycled insulation so a great environmental story and a hugely sustainable product uh, i think rab are doing a great job of introducing more and more recycled elements into all of their garments for this new season um so yeah great it's uh it's lightweight it's a great layering piece it's warm it's cozy packs down teeny tiny it's just it's just a super versatile bit of kit it's the kind of thing that you want to have in your kit list so thanks very much for watching if you've enjoyed the video give us a thumbs up if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to be uh, notified every time we post a new video so thanks again it's been a real pleasure see you again soon toodaloo made from well let's start with the insulation oh, forgotten already okay it's a 40 denier oh is it harry is it have i just made that up oh it's dirty <laughs>